the weekend, look, day number two here in Leeds. Shouts to High Five for having us out. Shouts to my team. Shouts to everybody that came to starting us yesterday. We fucking shut it down. We are getting into yet another international clash for the weekend. MC on my right hand side, you know the name, my dude from Liverpool. Innuendo, make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. And on my left hand side, I can't wait to introduce him from all the way down under in Australia. First time on Don't Flop UK, my man Dundee. Make some noise. Yeah. So much love to Crep Protect. Shout out to every time. You know we go. Uh, we chose off camera that Dundee's gonna go first three rounds, whatever you want, bro. Let's go. Innuendo, you fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but just because I'm calling you a nonce before you react too quick with your temper, let me remind you with a past like a history lesson. Like when you call, talked about someone's daughter getting fingered, you peasant, and accused Bobby Rex of being a nonce but didn't think we remember, but I'm pretty sure that that was a hypocritical error. Seeing as you ain't talking out of ten if you say your chick is a seven, mate, you ain't in a... <laughs> You ain't in a position to ever call someone a kitty fit of libretto when you and Decoy probably go catfishing together. <laughs> I call him a nonce, he's just gone flip it. Uh, mate, you having a bloody laugh? <laughs> just because you flip something, doesn't change who the fuck you are. <laughs> you know what? You just gone flip it when a cop is throwing you in the backseat of an undercover car. You just gone flip it when you're in the courtroom getting sentenced by the judges, bruh. <laughs> oh, you just gone flip it when they lock you up in bars and some Devo looking motherfucker starts to embrace you when he's loving arms and pulls out his dick and tells you to suck it hard and you just turn around and say something smart like, don't count you shag me off the ass. Let's start a proper sick me bubble out. <laughs> I don't actually think you fuck kids. So that, that alone will get you some lenience. You just tell jokes about fucking kids like an edgy comedian. But if you're wondering why everyone's getting offended so easily, well, it's because you have all the essential ingredients of a sexual deviant. <laughs> You think with your dick and your head looks like the end of your penis, so when it <laughs> So when it comes to the females, you're just extra mischievous, like like you take girls out to dinner but by the end of the evening and you just end up on feeding them all these beverages freely until their memories leaving them like dementia is creeping in, sleeping them before they get drilled like a dental anethodus. <laughs> You're a fucking sleaze bag, can't you? <laughs> I don't care what you try to say, mate. What's your idea of romance? Taking a girl on a blind date, right? <laughs> nice. See, so that's why normal women ain't wanna fuck you unless they get a nice pay rate. These bitches the wanna with his baby D like Day Day. <laughs> Acting like he's something special with all the slutsy bits. When in reality he's having unprotected, disgusting sex with ugly skets that open up their chubby legs and their pus infected cunts infest the room with a pungent stench of curried eggs and sprung his breath. <laughs> 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 So that's the type of shit that makes me want to smack you in the face. Hope the crowd boo you off the stage and don't react to what you say. But they don't care. It was treated like the last time you got some action on a date, because y'all can sleep on him. And they'll just pretend like you're actually awake. Let's go! <laughs> Now just for even turning up here today, you mates have got a fucking cheek. Dundee, you left down my fucking accumulator the other week. <laughs> Don't even get me started, lad. It's the dumb flop 8.30 weekend. I didn't even want to be a part of that. Be arsed with that. So I can't believe I'm even stood here with bars to rap. Cause when I said to her, get me the Aussie, I thought I was having a fucking heart attack. <laughs> See, when I was doing my research, I thought I would have had a couple of great fans. But I couldn't dig up any dates, I did nothing but waste time. I spent weeks in search just looking for something to make rhyme. But I couldn't find any angles, so fuck it, I'm coming with straight lines. Mm. Like what's happening, Leeds? Yeah. Yeah.
Now P Soldier told me I should call him a bumba clap pussy boy. <laughs> but I'm from Liverpool, so I just call you the fucking Muppet lad. <laughs> Don't even fucking start me, you little mug I'm hard. Trust me, you don't want no trouble now. Nah. Think Tony Bell, you, Liam Smith, Paddy the Baddy, I'm just another scouser who punches hard. Yeah. He's a divvy. He's a divvy. <laughs> He's a divvy <laughs> from Hobart in Tasmania now. That's hardly the mean streets of Philly. If you think he keeps a million, you're being silly. He ain't sold a drug in his life, so I've got to teach him how scouts are slang like Korean Billy. <laughs> See, I don't even know why they let these fakes debut. Me, I had the tough, bagging up grams of stuff Man was just slanging drugs to make it through So the bud that you're smoking, that's the haze we grew And you can get a box office like it's pay-per-view 99% of battle rappers are faggots <laughs> I've had it with all the lies and stories I'm a real guy, I've had to rise in court and lie to juries But all of those years of being around drugs led to addiction Which in turn led to lack of preparation and writing poorly Fuck me, if it wasn't for cocaine, I would have had that title like Tyson Fury. Yeah. Yo, now after a long night of getting bummed, you walk like you've been on a boat. <laughs> Kidder, getting your ass all filled up with semen isn't a reason to gloat. You love sleeping with blokes and sneaking off home without leaving a note. Basically what I'm saying is that tattoo's not the first time you've taken D to the throat. Yeah. Mick Dundee. Motherfucker had corks dangling round his head when he boarded the flight. <laughs> <laughs> he touched down in England and went for a walk in the night. Tories in the four in the morning, he saw all the sights. He bumped into a group of hoodies who started talking some shite. But he stood his ground firm, it didn't cause him a fright. He should have just handed over his wallet, but he was all for a fight. Now most people would have saw their own life flash before their own eyes, but he just stood there and went, <laughs> you call that a knife? <laughs> <laughs> now that never happened, and if you believe that little story, well you're slacking. Because if he'd have been like, you called that a knife, he'd have been like, yeah, and stabbed him. <laughs> Yo, you battled Harry Baker and Shuffle Tea, well neither of those posh little gay boys could fuck with me. I'm a whole different breed of British, I won't make you a cup of tea. It's people like me who put the fucking cunt into this fucking country. Yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Look, bruv, I know life can be hard when you're broke and depressed, but you must know you're done fucked up when your home is a tent. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Faced with that tough decision, do I pay for coke or for rent? <laughs> Racks up a gram, well fuck it, looks like I'm going homeless again. <laughs> and you think it's okay because you're known as a vet. No, motherfucker, you're just known as a mess. You are known as the bloke at the end of most of the events with his nose in the air like he's broken his neck trying to catch on a wine that went over his head. <laughs> I'm claiming you're living cleanly. Look at him. Such an addicted fiend that any minute he could have a disagreement with his inner demons and start administering intravenous milliliters of liquid speed until that shit is peaking more than River Phoenix on the floor of the Viper Room having vicious seizures. How the fuck are you going to say you off the drugs when you look like you probably just scoffed a ton of dodgy snuff and you're about to start scratching at your skin for microscopic bugs and just to take the edge off you'll get so sloppy drunk you're trying to understand this sorry cuts like having a conversation with Stallone at the end of Rocky One. <laughs> You fucking choke in all your battles because you're such a drug addicted mess. <laughs> I knew this spud cunt was a fucking junkie. Guess that explains why I always shits the bed. Your fucking birthstone is crystal meth. <laughs> Fucking birthstone.
Stone is crystal mad. You know, if they're hanging with smacked out stripper skets, it'll lift their dress and give you a head if you're talking horse like Mr. Ed. Mm. So I think it's pretty obvious, Mike, that you need some honest advice. <laughs> it's probably time you got your priorities right. <laughs> See, I know you say off your doll from chopping the white, but when you hit rock bottom in life, you can't just pull a note out of your bloody pocket and try to snort up the motherfucking poverty line. It's like, oh. you've been doing coke since in utero. Mm. <laughs> you've been doing coke since in utero. I am sure your mother took drugs. I'm fucking flaming on this pussy hole because you're a fucking cook cunt. Okay, it's I mean, it's like the drugs have become a part of you with all the chemicals that you burn and sniff. So I put innuendo in a bag and sell it back to him for 30 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Did anybody hear him talking shit before the battle? He was like, well if you ask me, I'll be taking it obviously. <laughs> In fact, no, fuck that. I'll be making a mockery. <laughs> but you know what guys? I really hate the hypocrisy. Because he'll probably drop a bar about me raping a wallaby and everybody here thinks I'm the guy who does the fucking Australian commentary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I ever took a nail to this fucking bell, well, I'd never live it down. So I just sniffed a mound of cocaine. There's a bigger mountain in those veins, but let me chill for now. Everybody simmer down. I deserve a bigger offer, so pink revolver when I spin around. And this bottle gets seen everywhere, because I'm a killer clown. Yeah. Yeah. Man, know the flow's sick, but don't be reacting to those quips. That bar was actually so shit and a lot more fucking relevant back when I wrote it. <laughs> Now listen here, Dundee. Me to get a full-on tit. If I, if I ever meet your wife, I'm raping the ugly bitch. Because I don't like your rat name. You should change it. It should be this. You need to replace the D in Dundee with an E. Because you're Australian full of shit and you're taking the fucking piss. Mm. Lad, I'm not even saying that trying to be funny. But if he changes the D to an E, well, he suits that, doesn't he? Yeah. Dundee disgusts me. Because he is a fucking druggie. <laughs> what the fuck were you on when you battled Kaiser? <laughs> it looked like mid round, you had a stripe and then went for the joint. It's ironic how you battled somebody called Kaiser and then went round in circles to get to the point. <laughs> and you told Shuffle T that your mother in law would tear up out of nowhere and then snap his jaw. Well, she's dead, mad, I'm sure. But if she turns up here today, I'll end up as your new stepdad-in-law. <laughs> your mother-in-law is not a bad man. <laughs> she's never had to live a life hard. Kid, she wouldn't last five minutes in a bingo by ass. <laughs> Imagine being an ass scout's beard, getting fake bake on strap. <laughs> Avon lady at the door and you can't pay a back sheen about that one. <laughs> yeah. And he ain't Shuffle T's funny scheme about how long it took to get to us. So tell me Dunny D, was it really as long as Shuffle said it was? You should have copped some Valium and popped a couple setting off cause that's a long way to travel and I would have wanted something better cause I'm not that fucking clever and I'm not that good and never can be bothered putting effort so I cock up and ain't getting lost lord. Cause you come from afar, fly out here and think you're some sort of star. But when I choke and don't give a fuck, that's the ultimate part. I, I guarantee at some point in my third, I'll fuck up a bar and suddenly start freestyling about booming your ma. Enjoy that. <laughs> so you consider yourself to be a bit of a tough can, do you, Buck? <laughs> Someone tell this fucking asshole to relax a bit. Jungle juice, you try intimidating me, boy, you can, I promise you'll catch these punches too. Bloody old Meg Ryan in Top Gun, you fucking goose. Hey! hey. <laughs> that ain't his fault. He's from Liverpool. 
I mean, no wonder he's such a troubled dude. That's like kicking a man when he's down with all the shit that you've already struggled through. Plus, I don't want to push him over the edge, go all a man to talk because I'm making fun of you and have that body weighing heavy on the sole like sprung his shoes. <laughs> You're a washed up, drug addicted scouser. <laughs> And you live in a fucking tent as well. <laughs> and with all that self-deprecating shit you spit, we can tell that you're depressed as hell. We don't need to put him on suicide watch or worry about his mental health. Because it's kind of hard to neck yourself when you ain't got to neck yourself. <laughs> fucking no-neck cunt. <laughs> How's that work? He couldn't choke if you left the lad hanging, but still manages to win every one of his rap battles, but that's haphazard. You slipping round me, then you catch damage, because I keep them rounds on point like backgammon. Yes. That's why I don't give a fuck if I lose this battle. I don't give a fuck if I get murdered, right? If you take the win with everything you've been with, been through, mate, then you deserve it, Mike. Because if I lose, Couple days I get the early fly back to my baby girl and wife having a perfect time hanging in the surf and shine with hors d'oeuvres and wine while you have to fuck off back to your tent amongst the dirt and grime and mersey side. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, I don't give a fuck if I lose this battle. I don't care if I get murdered, right? With all the shit you're already up against, if you take the win, then you deserve it, Mike. Because if I lose, Couple days, I catch the early flight back to my baby girl and wife having a perfect time hanging in the surf and shine with all dirt and wine while you have to fuck off back to the dirt and, and grind and mercy side. So basically, win or lose, you're still getting 30 by your worthless life. Woo! So you better be real glad I made the trek to this event and I'm here, but saying you'll beat me is like saying your exes don't have sex with your peers, bruh. <laughs> I'm one of the fucking best up in here, so I'm respecting and fear done. So respect where respect is due. Go and get me a beer, cunt. Let's fucking go. Yo! Yo! Yo. Now in that cringeworthy third round against Harry Baker, you said that your life was saved by this battle shit. You did a whole round about how you used it to change when you had a kid. And now you play happy families with the lady you married and the baby she carried. Sick. How could I ever hate on that? That is big. That's amazing, man. That is it. You're a responsible father now. No more blazing them bags of piff, breaking up grams of sniff or taking them massive hits. You said you used to raid other grafters' cribs, waiting with a mask and shiv, and you were game to just crack some ribs. So gone are the days of staying up late on a massive binge, raising a glass of gin, wasted your face with a massive grin, and not to mention how much weight that you've had to shift, because, mate, you were fat as shit. <laughs> and now you're in shape. You look great. I mean, man is ripped. It must be amazing to be able to tell the family that you're going to the UK for the battle trip and now you're going to be the next Australian rapper to make it now daddy's big but tell me, what the fuck do you actually even gain from this battle kid? Cause I know it, and I know we ain't paying this man a quit. <laughs> it's not meant to be funny. I know we ain't, I know we ain't paying this man a quit. You had to beg for spare change to get flights from Tasmania and a place you can have a kip. You ain't making your family shit. In fact, you may as well have a spliff. Have a couple of space cakes. Let the weight pile back on a bit. Cause at the end of the day, you never change. You're a massive prick. Trust me, the same old ways and the habits stick. You said that your life was saved by this battle shit. Well then what the fuck are you actually going back there with? Now judging from the lack of reaction, that wasn't very good. <laughs> I didn't think it'd wake myself either, but Rob Wilson yeah. said it would. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I am a 29 year old, fat, bald, white scouser who's currently partaking in a rap battle against an Australian what the hell am I doing? <laughs> so you said battle rap saved your life when well, mine's been potentially ruined. <laughs> it's not meant to be funny. <laughs> Cause recently shit's been getting out of control I'm well aware that my name's been going down in the polls I'm thankful for all the love and support But I'm fucking sick of being hounded by trolls Battle rap doesn't bring me happiness anymore If anything it makes me feel down and alone And fuck your dead against Harry Baker Cause I got a cringeworthy dead round of me own yeah! Bro, you're not the only one who's had to battle with addiction just these past few months I've been standing in the kitchen I've been scratching, I've been itching and my hands they keep on twitching I can't handle this affliction and it gets to that point where I have to just go fishing <laughs> <laughs> Right now, 
much prefer angling to battling And I've achieved a lot through rapping and for that I am proud But I can't escape the fact that the buzz I once had is dying down They say all good things must come to an end And I'm starting to think that the time is now So live on stage I'm retiring Wow, it's goodbye for now And this couldn't have been too hungry I'm seizing a rival bout This was just innuendo saying thank you all for the memories And taking his final bout Time I'm out! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>